Hello everybody, today we are going to cover the first bottle model that's one of the series of creation of standardized models in WinSim system dynamics. So the first model, the C101, is just to cover single integration. We will have one flow and one stock and then we are going to manipulate the flow and we will see what are the reactions of the stock. So first of all we have to build our model. We will start with the box variable. This we are going to call state. Then we have to have one inflow. This we call rate of change. Of change. And now what is important, we have to define this rate of change. So for this we are using an auxiliary variable and we define that or give the name as input function because this will be the definition then how the rate of change is going to change the state. Now in our example we are going to simulate a pulse sequence We are going to show you how to make step functions, how to make a ramp function, and how to build up a sine function, so a sinusoid function. As we will see in our model, the rate of change will totally be influenced through the input function. We have to make now our connections, so pulse sequence is an input function, step function is an input function, ramp and sign function, and the input function will define the rate of change, like this. And since we like nice pictures, we make them a little bit curved. So as a next step, we have to define our equations we go and press here on the equation symbol we press it we see that everything is turning black that's why we uh, that just shows that we didn't define any uh, equation yet i just realized that we forgot one variable that is the initial state Shall state this is not a hundred percent necessary, but normally in the bustle book they they add this variable. So now we start to populate the, the model with the with numbers. So initial state we put it first as a zero and units is units is state. Then we go on with maybe the pulse sequence. So the pulse sequence, we set it as one. The unit of this pulse function is state per day. We click OK. Then step function, we define it as zero to start. Units is also state per day. Ramp function we give also a value of zero to start. It's also state per day. Then sign function also zero state per day. And then I just realized that I forget anything in addition that's frequency. That's what we are going to need when we look at the sign function like this. I click again on the equation. We see that all uh, variables that we already defined, they turn white and the black ones there, we still have to add something. So the frequency, we set it at 0. Point, oops, at 0. 0.1 and units is 1 per day and then the initial state we already set. 
Then rate of change, we see that's just one arrow coming in. That will be input function. So for the flow, we already have here the variable. We just have to click on it. And we have to give the, uh, the unit for it. So the unit is state per day. And the state is a rate of change initial value here we can either insert a number or as we have here in our model we can add the initial state in initial state and units is uh, state okay and now we are coming to The main um, thing that we have to implement is the input function, so we click on it. And now we have to define all those different functions that we are going to cover in this model. So we click on input function and then we will have this uh, window. We see pulse sequence here. We go to functions because we are interested in uh, in the function pulse. So we see here pulse train. We double click it, and then what we have to do? We have to say that our variable pulse sequence, and then we just take uh, multiplier fifty, just because we only gave it the value one, so that we have a little bit more. Uh, higher numbers and then we have to say when do we want to start with our pulse sequence we start at uh, the time one we have to say how long this time function at uh, this pulse sequence should be we say 0.02 then repetition uh, repetition time we say we give it one and then when should it end at time point 20 we want that it's gonna stop then we go on with the next uh, functions we make here a plus then we're going to ch choose the, the step function for example we double click on it and now we have to define it we have to go to functions we are going to choose step we double click on it then we see that we have to define how high the step has to be. So there we are going to choose maybe one. We have to define the, the time. That is also we take it one. Then we move on. We take, grab the next variable. We take RAM function. We double click it. We go to function. We search for RAM. We double click RAM oops that was wrong so there we have to go maybe oh now we have a problem i have to retype this as input function and then we just go to ram function again i make the times and then we take the ram we see first we have to define the slope there we go take one the initial time when it should start we take one as well when should it finish we take five and then we already defined our RAM function then we move on we take also our last uh, function that we covered that sign function so we double click on it we make times and then we go to function we take the sign And there it's a little bit more complicated how to populate that. So we take two times three point one four one five nine times frequency and then times time like that. Then we have to define the the units unit will be state per day we click OK because now we defined everything do you want to step 
function. Oh, no, we just see that here we forgot the time like that. So the when sim gives us a lot of hints when we make a mistake. But I use time, then we click yes because we really want to have the time. Now it appears here. And we also already have the arrow. That's uh, an important variable and for the sign function. So before we can run the model, we have to define our model settings. That's also the same as would come when you say uh, go to file and say new model, then the same model setting window appears. So we start at initial time 0, we go to final time 10, our time step, so how many times per um, time step it's going to calculate all the variables. So the, the smaller the number, the more calculations we have. Then units Per ta for time is our is month and the integration type we just leave it at Euler. I don't really know what would happen if we're gonna change it here. So, okay, and now we are ready to mod simulate make the first simulation for our model. So what we are doing next is we have to check our model. And then we see O state is not used in the model. So that's why the, our state is just the final uh, stock and there is no outflow. So what we have to click is here on supplementary and then when we check again, the model is okay. That's something we always have to think about that when uh, one stock is just ending and there is no outflow, then we have to press supplementary. Additionally, we also have to make the units check we see oh there were two unit errors discovered <coughs> we look through the error message and we see that here it's everything is per day and our time is month so there's something a mismatch we go back to model settings and we see that here units for time is month but everywhere else we used um, state per day as we see here so we change that, we check again, units check, no, and now we see that our units are okay. So we go to this running man, we press the run of simulation, we say yes, we want to save over it, we go to state, and then we go to the graph sign, we click on it, and what we see here is now the pulse sequence, so with every uh, time point or time interval we have one pulse sequence then it goes up one pulse sequence again one pulse sequence one pulse sequence and then it just uh, equilibrates or it stays the stock stays as it is so we close this then we go to the set button we make pulse sequence as zero we don't want to have pulse sequence anymore we go to step function we make this as one we press enter, we go to the running man, we overwrite it, we go click again on state, to the graph, OK. And now we see that we have a, a step function. So I make this a little bit smaller, that we see all the input. So we have the input function that is defined now through the step function because we set this to 1. And then the step function starts at 1 and then um, it goes up to a certain number and then the input function just, just stays there and it makes the rate of change to a constant increase and we see how this is going up. We close this window, we press again set, we make step function as zero, pulse sequence as zero, then we go to ramp function, we make ramp function as one, we run again the model, yes, we go to state, click on graph, and then what we are going to see, so this graph is the output of the RAM function. When you don't really understand what's the behavior of it, then we close this window, we go to input function, we click on graph again, and then we get the output for the RAM function, so it starts, 
then we set the slope of it so this is the slope we set when it starts we set when it ends and then we have a, a slope increase up to four and when it arrived there it just stays at this uh, at this level so as last we have the sign function we press again set we make pulse equal zero we make sign function as one we click on run oh cancel yes we want to overwrite its date we go to the graph and now we see the the graph for the state we see how this looks like and now we are also interested in how does the function look like the sign function we go to input and what we can do is just we grab both of them because we want to display both of it and we see this the blue line now is the sign function so it's positive and then it turns negative and we see the result that it's increasing here the stock and as soon as the sign function is going to a negative value we have a decrease in the amount um, in our stock so let's close this window and with this uh, model that we have here now I invite you to play a little bit around to change values to see what's going to happen this is very important to get a feeling of system dynamics Thank you very much. I hope you learned something. See you next time.